to take this off my shoulders. All right, so today I'm going to be making a uh, mount for my California trimmer, so it's going to make it a little bit easier for me to do any kind of work, uh, whether I'm, you know, having to grease it, um, do any kind of adjustments on the blade. Um, if I'm going to have to go in and back lap it, I'll be able to just actually pop the uh, the California trimmer wheels right up on. Uh, the blocks on each side that'll lift it up allow me to lean it back and then I don't have to worry about it uh, Falling over what I'm using um, are two by fours just what I happen to have uh, laying around in the garage um, And I actually just cut this to uh, 16 inches in length you could probably get away uh, with probably taking it down to um, Probably even like 13 inches. I was playing around with it. I didn't want to cut it too short So I just made it a little bit longer um, and then probably a little bit more stable being this big you could do two two by fours if you didn't have four uh, four by six um, And then I just took the four by six and cut it uh, down to inch and a half again. Just one two by four um, and you could cut um, a Basically a block out uh, For the wheel to actually sit in the middle here, so uh, I'm gonna just assemble this real quick You guys can uh, follow along here as I uh, just put this together um, I've already done all of my cuts All right, so for me, um, I measured this again, 16 inches. Uh, again, this doesn't have to be precise, not like I'm doing cabinet work here. Um, I'm gonna find the middle, which is eight inches. I know the wheel span um, for that wheel to sit in is gonna be six inches, so I went th three inches off the of center um, and marked uh, my spot. And now I'll just create a quick line as a guide. for my blocks to sit in. It's a really cheap way to make a tool that I'll probably use multiple times throughout the year. Um, with that done, I'm just gonna drill pilot holes. Um, again, I've cut these blocks so I don't want them to split on me. And I'm just using regular deck screws or wood screws. And I'm gonna attach it, and then I'll. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna drill pilot holes, and then I'll attach it and finish drilling out the holes so it doesn't move on me. Oh, need some screws. I'm just using regular Deckmate screws. I believe these are two and a half inches. Um, I did a deck project earlier this year, and this is just what again I had left over. So, wanted to make it uh, as easy and as affordable as possible. Now I'll just secure these down. I like them a little bit countersunk, so I'm not catching and tearing anything on the wheel. Um, plus, this is going to be kind of close to the bed knife, so again, I don't want that metal on metal. If I don't have to take a chance of doing that. I'll just countersink these other two. Again, I'm not going for perfection here. These are literally going to sit underneath the bench and only be used on the California trimmer when I need to get it up off the ground. I'm hitting a knot on that one. All right. So now that I've got the pair of them, there's the other one down there on the ground. Let me get the camera set up here. I've never done this, so you guys can live this with me. 
My thought is I just grab it on the side, lift it up, slide it under. Those will, the wheel will fall right in between. Now I can tip it. I guess I really don't even need to tip it. The blade should go free, the back tire is free. I call that success. 